Nicholas Kelly. Hi. Other action figures each sold separately. From the court. Her. Get the door. It must be Cousin Willie. Okay. Hi. Want some? The following video is rated R and is intended for an adult audience. So if you're under 18, take a fucking hike, eh? As this video may contain adult themes and situations, strong language and opinions, good and bad advice, cannabis cultivation and consumption. So as long as you're a responsible adult, kick back, spark one up, and enjoy the show. And Methodist Queen works on occasion. Huh? I was in the middle of my jam. Hello, ship. Man, I uh, I you screwed up that. Groove. I screwed up that intro a little bit here, everybody. I apologize. You ruined my groove. I'm sorry. I fucked everything up. <laughs> Whoops. Here was the, the music. Yeah. Oh my god. Hold on one second here. And works. There we go. I apologize. I done fucked up a few things this morning. The music is playing. Bunny just ran to finish something. I think we're good. <laughs> Shit. Hi, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. I fucked it up, man. I, I, I screwed up my morning here a little bit, and I pressed some wrong buttons, and yeah, it's all good. We got it going on now, though. Do you have yourself a coffee or anything like that? Something to drink? What are y'all drinking on this morning? Well, I guess it's not really morning anymore. It's one o'clock here. I can't really call this like breakfast or morning coffee anymore. When it was 12, I guess I could... When I was doing 12 o'clock noon shows, I could say that with a little more... Ooh. This is my favorite coffee. And I put, um, I put a little... Um, an espresso cup or cap in it. I've got like these little espresso pods as well that are small. They only give you about this much liquid, but whoo. Ayah. It be 6 a.m. Uh, in Australia. It uh, is. It is exactly 6 a.m. in Australia right now. So I'm going to start this episode off with a little wake and bake. Um, I did have a dab earlier. I can't really say it's a true wake and bake. I came into the Discord this morning and had a fucking little dab. But, um, I'm gonna have a dab off of this one here. Off of the, the blob, the slab. What's left of the slab here? Fuck, there's always a fucking cat hair on it. I mean, we got two cats, so it's not surprising. But every time I go to show you, there's a fucking cat hair hanging off of it. Like, it's not like it's covered in cat hairs, but there's quite often, like, one hair sticking off the side. Okay, it looks good now. Speaking of cats, my new little kitten broke my bong in the middle of a Twitch stream yesterday. Yesterday? Or the day before? I think it was Friday. 
on Friday, I was doing a big long Twitch stream, and uh, my little kitten climbed up on the shelf over there and knocked my favorite little dab rig off and broke it. Just shattered the fucking thing in multiple spots. There's no repairing it. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, sort of. Like, I mean, kind of bad kitty, but it's like a baby. So you can't even get mad at the baby. It just sucks, that's all. I mean, it, I, it sucks that the bong's gone, but I can't get mad at the cat, man. It's just a little baby kitten. It was just climbing around on stuff, and it knocked something over. It's not like it was like... <laughs> Smash. Then I'd be fucking mad. If the cat was, like, doing one of those, I wouldn't be so fucking... so kosher about it and so relaxed about it. But it's just a baby, man. She doesn't know what she's doing. <clears throat> dab time, dab time, motherfucking dab time. Well, hello there, buddy. There you go. You can have that back. <coughs> <coughs> now that's a torch. <coughs> I yes. Yes, 100%. I recommend these torches right here, man. The Big Shot GT8000. This torch is the granddaddy of all torches. Don't buy cheap Chinese torches. They got skinny How close little... How does it need to be? <coughs> they got skinny little... Um, <coughs> chambers for the gas, for the fuel. <coughs> like, that's good. Okay, well, I want to... I want to have a dab and homage to your rig, because I got that rig. That was my rig at first. <coughs> it was Bunny's rig, and then she decided she didn't like it. And then I started using it, because we had paid for it. And I fell in love with it. I'm getting a little better. But when I take my glasses off, I can't see some of it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so she's taking her glasses off to get a better look at her, eye, at her eye makeup. I don't want... And, and she can't fucking see now, because she's, like, blind. She's like, shit! That was all fuzzy. The but. reflective layer on my glasses is peeling off, so it reflects everything. So, I have... Little Kitty is so cute! Yes, yeah, she is. She is adorable. She'll probably come down here during our session, because we're down here for too long. Both the cats start wandering down here, wondering what, what we're doing. So I do have a... An exciting piece of something for some of you that haven't seen me do this live. If you check the name of the episode, that's right. I set up the camera, and we're gonna do a little pressy pressy. Ooh! Yay! Is it gonna be Frank? Oh yeah! She didn't even know about this. This is a surprise. I, I forgot. I didn't tell you. But is it Frank? Nope. Mm. It's better. It's yours. I wanted Frank. Frank's not. Frank's not um cured yet. But Frank still tasted good last time. She likes the wedding cake. She, we, we tried a little bit of the wedding cake, and it was pretty fucking good. See, I thought you'd be excited. This is Sour Stomper, and it shouldn't have that green anymore. Oh, yeah. You liked it, okay. but it had this slight green flavor to it, right? It was like a, it was like an aftertaste. <coughs> Who okay. are you asking if they want contact? If you're asking me, yes. Because I have black eyes. Not not like a black eye like some punch me. Like black eyes. Like my eyes are so brown. They're black. <laughs> Yeah. I know you think this color is light, but when it shows up on camera, it doesn't actually show up that bright. Yeah, it's pretty vibrant in real life. But see, that's one of the things I was actually explaining to her. I said, when you're doing your makeup, do it a little bit more, a little, if you're doing eyeliner, do a little more than you normally would. Make your, make your makeups and stuff like that a little see, extra strong. I can't see if you can see it. Because camera dumbs things down a little oh, bit. Oh, it does. But I, I meant to make, like, a little sparkly in the center, but it ended up turning into a full oh, yeah, you sparkle. Oh, got, yeah, you got full-on fucking raver eyelids now. They're all sparkly. But they show nice. Yeah. They look good. Okay, and so have your dab. Have your dab. Oh, have your dab. Sorry, I'm not trying to interrupt you, but have your dab so that um, so that I can do some, so I can start this pressing. You're like, what the fuck is that? It's a pop <laughs> shop lid stuck to the... I'm going to clean both sides. Use a... Yeah, do it quickly and then use um, a fresh 
alcohol oh, pad. Oh, did you hear that? The thunk? The fart sound? No, the thunk sound was my hip. Oh, no, I didn't hear the thunk. I heard the, 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 the creaking of the, oh, the I pleather felt... that sounded like... It's it's not a new thing, but ever since I like broke my foot, I've kind of been getting new pops in the left side of my hip. Wedding cake is a solid producer. Yeah, I got some really weird phenos out of all of the freaking. I, I I grew four different, four different seeds, two different companies. One was from ILGM. One was from Coastal Mary. I thought um, they put the blush. And they both grew well. Lighter. Just weird. And you know, just so that's the thing. I think people tend, I, I think people forget this, or not a lot of breeders really solidify their shit. But um, I have noticed that auto flowers very, very, very often will have multiple phenos. You can grow ten auto flowers. Random pack auto flowers, just from any company. I'm not saying random, but just any, any company. Hold on. Any company. And you will very, very likely get a variety of phenotypes from that strain. It's very interesting. And it, it, it's just, it's odd that they don't solidify it as much as I think they would. Anyway, sorry. What were you trying to say? I was going to say, to the re a reason to that is we've hybridized almost so much that it can look like a sativa, but it'll have the effects of an indica so it doesn't quite matter about the structure of the leaf and the nope, fact that we've always. hybridized some plants a lot more other than off others like kush had a big splash i think what about five years ago like kush? Kush, this, kush oh that, yeah kush, kush 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 everybody was like i don't smoke anything but kush i'm like do you realize that means you smoke one strain one strain from, like from originally a mountain, it did from the come Kush from mountain. one strain. And People then threw that just... Kush around like it was a term. They thought Kush was like a, a, well, a, a, it the was new Indica. Well, it was and then it was <clears throat> Kush, and then there was Oh, I know, but, what I'm, saying, but what I'm cake. saying is you're talking about strains, and yep. people tend, a, a lot of, I hate to say this, but a lot of dumbed down smokers and tokers that didn't really know what they were talking about were just throwing around terms. Like, they thought, a lot of people assumed that Kush and stuff was a type of cannabis like like people used to say skunk weed and 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 kush weed and haze and stuff like this now, these, are, these are these are like indica, these are like categories like... of weed but people used to think it was like oh well there's indica and sativa and fucking kush and like like i i don't like <laughs> sativa it's too it's too yippity for me indica's too down i'm only about the kush it's like I think you know you... what you're saying <laughs> now it's a different topic of, I think you liked lemony terpenes, but I know yeah, you I like gassy and cheesy terpenes. Mine is like, kind I like, of like skunk. I like pungenty things. I like, I like almost skunk, anything that's really powerful. but it doesn't powerful. have to be cheese. And it's weird how skunk and cheese are very similar, but they're not the same. Hi, well, stoners. Happy Sunday. Hi, happy dude. I don't think I've seen you in a bit, or I'm just kind happy of Happy dude. The Aloha. No, I think Happy Dude was like myth. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm a stoner, and I fucking all of these Sunday sessions and shit kind of blur together after a while. But have you been on a slight hiatus there, Happy Dude? Have you been missing for a little while? Because you popped into my Twitch stream the other day, and I was all like, "Holy fuck, Happy Dude, how you doing, buddy? I haven't seen you in a while." And maybe I have, and I just didn't notice because that's very possible. There it is. I wanted to know what it was. Oh, hey, the beard, I planted. Beard, hold on, counts. My oh. count. Bam. I planted three of one strain of Aloha, and one is totally different. The Aloha is lemony, but one is very cherry smelling. I like it. I like That's cherry, cool. cherry weed, man. Cherry weed's trippy as shit, man. Where did I read that? They're dicks. They're not dicks. They're Cats like... are kind of dicks. Uh, well. They're like trolls. Ooh, that's what I was looking for. I was going to say, our cat, Canna, is not like some oh, cats where, like, like, when they walk across some things and they see something, it's like, what? Mephisto's supposed to be coming out with a wedding cake. I like UK cheese and blue cheese, blue cheese strains too. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a cheese, I'm a cheese man myself. I like cheese. I don't know exactly what you would call mine, but I guess maybe more skunky because Cali Mist was kind of a funky smell. Okay, this was Afghani a whim. Afghani Bull Rider was like a. I bought this on a whim. I thought this was gonna be. Don't cool. put that on my head. I won't put it on your head. I thought this was gonna be cool. I wear a fedora thing, right, with my 
upturned lip. It's basically a pork pie slash fedora. There's a couple of phrases people have called them. Anyway, I saw this. This is a cheese hat, and it's kind of a fedora. Look. And it's supposed, it looks like shit on camera. See, it's supposed to be ma uh, 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 made of cheese, right? I thought that it's foam. I thought it was fucking hilarious in the, in the picture. And then I got it and realized it was a fucking enormous monstrosity that just makes me look like an orange Devo. Whip it good. Do, 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 do. Crack that whip. Do, 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 do. I hate this hat. I gotta be honest. I paid like almost like sixty bucks after shipping I don't or something. Get rid of yeah, that it's hat. a Packer hat. It's absolutely a Packer hat. It's one of their fucking. <clears throat> I was gonna get a cheese wedge, and then I noticed they had fedoras, and I'm like, <gasps> and I hate this hat so much. It's so fucking stupid. But the point is, I am a cheese man. I love me some cheesy, skunky strings. I bought this hat, and I fucking regret it. <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> I thought it was going to be cooler than that. I got it and I was like, oh, this thing's ugly as fuck. <laughs> and that is why I'm not wanting to get fabric so fast online. Yeah, you got fabric and stuff like that. You kind of want to, you want to go to the store and you want to feel the fabric and stuff. Well, you don't want to go buying shit like that. Well, I'm trying to get fabric for plushies and I'm having a hard yeah. time. Well, take you to that fabric store in Cranbrook or whatever next time we're over there. Okay. Thank you. That's why I also was like not wanting to cancel that. Well. Finances got in the way. Bills destroyed us this month. And that's all there is to it, man. Ooh. It's very bright. Yeah, it is. It's it's a bit in fucking tense. I'm going to have a dab while I'm waiting for money because she's being the slowest dabber on earth today. Which is strange. Usually she's like, dab, 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 dab. Crack that dab. Dab, 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 dab. And I'm like, fuck. I turn around she's like, dab. Dab. She's in the dabber usually. What's up? I'm kind of in a little wave. Oh. I'm just feeling like a little like lightheaded. You got a little dizzy? Mm -hmm. oh, don't touch me. Don't, don't touch, touch me. me. You're warm. Ah, don't touch me. You're warm. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I won't even have a dab for a second. I don't want to cloud you when, if you're feeling, if you got a little. Go to the okay, we'll go to the bathroom. So it's kind of like, Care, I might have to Go like, slowly. Well, hell no, I, I know. I was thinking about getting into leather work, making oh. saddlebags and shit like that, but I had to order off Amazon. Their kits are junky looking. I haven't looked at Amazon, I've looked at Etsy. I'm looking for specific kinds of fabrics, and I think Dab I like it to feel good. it. Do, 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 do. Heat that torch. <laughs> torch that bowl. Do, 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 do. Or in this case, heat that tip. Okay. I'm over it. Have a drink of water while you're up there, too, honey. That's what Crypto Man says, and that is a very good idea. Headed spinny. Sounds like somebody's pregnant. Hell no. kids, man. We got kittens. We got cats. We're cat people. We're not little people people. Little people would change our world too much. We don't want to change our world that much. Tark, how you going? How you doing? How you going? What the fuck is that? What am I, Australian? Shit. 
All right, all right. We've been waiting long enough. This puck has been sitting there warming up. So, right here, I've got about five grams of, um, of, uh, what, what is this? Sour Stomper from Mephesto Genetics. <coughs> and I've been letting it sit in here and, and warm up. I'm not using a bag. I use a pre-press, one of these right here. You watch some of my old videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I use a pre-press, so it makes a very compressed little puck thing. And uh, now I'm just starting to add a little bit of pressure now. I can just feel the resistance now. It was like nothing, 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 nothing. And I've got just the littlest bit of resistance now. I want to go kind of slow because I'm not trying to... I don't want to blow this thing out. If I do this correctly and nice and slow and steady with the right amount of heat, um, you create this wicked little little I know why. I got Puck that wave. What? I didn't eat. Oh. Did you take your meds this morning? No, but I did now. I. Welcome back, Bunny. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're feeling better and you're back. I am not pregnant. I'm on birth control. I don't want a kid. I didn't go into that detail, but I no. just said no. <laughs> but someone is just like sounds like that. It's like no. Yeah, I saw that. I comment. took care of two of my sisters from like zero to five and older. I don't want to deal with that anymore. That is about the same as raising a child. Yeah, we have kittens. We have cats. They're our babies. We will baby them. Yeah, and I still clearly remember when my sisters woke up every two hours. I don't miss it. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just we'll just spoil the crap out of our cats instead. They're still cheaper. That too. There we go. <clears throat> so, um, for anybody super wondering, because I'm sure somebody's going to ask. I don't know why it's weirdly out of focus. There we go. 185 is the temperature I have both plates sitting at right now. So. Six pounds of tomahawks about to hit the grill. Stuffed and stoned I will be. Sorry. Yeah, I remember my little sisters and when I was trying to start smoking weed, not starting, but like oh, I see a just keeping there. that away from like parents and kids. Fuck. So That's exactly what I wanted to little, say. Sorry, yeah, no, no, it's okay. I'm just I'm just talking out loud here. I'm thinking out loud. We no, might that's have what a little I wanted to say. here. We might have a rip. Right there. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, we do I have see. a small little rip. That sucks. Also you got this back. Wasn't it your favorite? No. Yeah, the, the wedge on the one side and the big paddle on the other, yeah. This one's, I like this one too, but it's only slightly useful. I like the pointy mm. side, but I, I, I'm a big fan one. of these big paddles. Well, it is, I didn't put very much in. I can see some bubbling in there. There's definitely some in there, but it's not, I've got it ain't a girl flowing and a boy. out. My kids save me and make me better. That is great. But I kind of like got that through like having to raise the kids and I was a single like kid at first so I kind of like my independence too. That's probably another reason I don't want kids is kids, kids do kind of take away your independence in, in some ways. Well they can and they can't. They can and they can't, the yes. It does. Stuff, but... I'm just okay. saying you can have so kids and if that helps you, bit. that's fine. Can I... I mean, my mom watched okay. hockey, but I'm not a hockey person. I'm I have gonna, nieces and nephews. I'm going to unlock this puppy and open colors. her up. It's probably maybe a little too soon, but I'm a little concerned because I've got a I've got a small rip in the paper right in the front here. I don't know how that happened, but if there's one little dink like that in the paper, I'm scared that the bottom of the paper actually is blown out, which is actually a possibility. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Fuck! Yeah, the paper shredded on me. Fucking fuck, I hate it when this happens. Yeah, it, it oh man, it destroyed it. Look at this. <laughs> look, look, it fucked. Oh, no. That fucks up the whole thing, man. Oh, I just went from chat to looking at that. I haven't done that in a long time. Oh, what a bummer. It just, 
Yeah, it fucks it right up. So there's the fucking puck anyway. The puck is fine, but the paper shredded. I <clears throat> I can get a couple of dabs out of here, but it's uh, it's pretty fucked, you, as you can see. Um, I'm going to be able to pull some, there's some dabs around the outside, but anything that was in the inside here is just gushed. Reynolds wrap parchment. Oh, fail. Fail. Where is it? Hold on. Um. <laughs> understand and believe when others say they don't want kids had someone say i love kids but wouldn't keep having them yes i love kids i love my sisters but i don't want to raise kids and go through what kids I did are with cool my sisters. kids are magical i wanted kids when i'm younger but now that i'm yep. older i kind of am okay <laughs> i wanted kids before i raised my sisters and then i raised my sisters and i'm like i'm okay i'm okay so you didn't get anything out of that or you have to repress that no, 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 no. I got it. it, it whatever came out, it came out, but okay. the paper is shredded. No, I wanted to ask. That. Oh, sorry, but the paper is shredded, and I'm just collecting what I can off the edge, man. We'll get a couple of tokes out of it, but I basically wasted that because <gasps> I don't know, man. The paper just shredded. That's that's a very rare thing. It <gasps> doesn't happen to me very often. Like maybe a little bit of paper shredding, but that was magically destruction. One of the ways you can avoid this, if this happens to you repeatedly and you don't know why, um, I can't give you the answer to why, but I can tell you how to fix it. If you stick another piece of paper underneath it, like a um, like a bumper or something like that, that will. Um, Would a lower temp be better for that paper, maybe? No, the no, temperature had nothing was, to do with it. It was pressure. Wasn't yeah, it? I put too much pressure on it, and honestly, you know what I think the problem was. I'll, I'll tell you what I think the problem was. I think my plate was a little sticky. I think my plate had a little bit of sticky on it. It, it does have sticky on it right now because of the paper blow it up. So if you look in there right now, you can see sticky icky on the plate, right? Now I cleaned it off, but I guess I didn't clean it off enough. And if there's even a bit of tackiness to it, it'll like hold the paper and the paper won't move and slide like it's supposed to. And, okay. and then it just gets stuck. I kind of didn't get that at and first. Rips. And then I'm like, oh I mean, yeah. I got, I got us a dab or two here, but that is that that's abysmal. That's about like a, a made at 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 best that's half or a third of what we would have gotten had I fucking done that. Don't right. think they have Costco in Canada. They do, but they're probably they're, well. I'd say they're just not as close together. Yeah, we probably. um we have other stores. Where are we here? Um, okay. no, that's Twitch. Um, this, oh, so no. I want it for a. A CBD dab. What temperature would you I don't be? know. No. Blank display? No, I don't know what button it is to do that. Ah. Hold on, I just gotta come over and turn that. There we go. Fuck. I didn't make a button to go back. I made a button to go over there, but I didn't make a button to go back. Oh, wait a minute. I remember now. I just. I'm a stoner. I just toggle the fucking thing. I'm a fucking stoner. <laughs> Now that's a good stoner maneuver right there. Whoops. Oh, that sucks about this <coughs> press thing. <man. coughs> and I even know how to press and I still fucking failed on that. I bet you that's what the problem was though. I think the plate was just a little tacky still. I didn't clean it good enough. And um, and then it's it, it like held onto the paper. And as I pressed the paper just, just kind of <coughs> came apart because it was stuck there. I've, I've seen this happen before, and it's fairly rare, but, I, oh, sorry. <coughs> what I was saying is, let's pretend this this is the thing with the puck in it. Put another piece of paper around it like this. Double up on your parchment and then press it. <coughs> that will help big time in um, avoiding that rip. It really will. No, it's good It's good paper. I, this doesn't happen very often. You got no Q-tips. Really? Oh. Really? My bowl's gonna this be is the brand I've been, I've been using this same brand for about two years now. It's a culinary parchment. <laughs> pampered chef. I don't know, whatever. I've been using the same shit for a long time. People do say that Kirkland shit is good though. <coughs> but I, we don't we don't I don't have a Costco membership. There's no Costco anywhere near me. Mmm. Mm. Anyway, not the end of the world. 
small drag, but I got something here. I just wanted, I honestly just wanted a little taste of it. I just hate wasting any good weed like that. Too much like, pressure too fast. Yeah. I was being slow with it. That's the thing that kind of surprises me, is I was even saying slowly, and I was being slow about it, but... I think we got through three episodes of the Bad Batch Star Wars. Maybe not even oh, one. Oh, the Star Wars Bad Did Batch? No, one? I didn't I didn't even watch it. I hated the Bad Batch. No, okay. you put it on for me. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No? Yeah. No, I put the Clone Wars on for you. I wouldn't put the Bad Batch on for you. I don't like it. No, I remember you putting it on just to look at it. I remember it because you complained so much when you put it on. No. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm sure I, I, you're wrong. <laughs> well, I have not sure watched it. You're thinking of something else. That's all. It's not a big deal. I don't use Micron bags. Uh, yeah, I usually do. You know what? I feel like I need to redeem myself. Can we do one more? Yeah. I almost want one more Frank. Well, mm. don't get Frank, but go grab another one. Let's try a different one. Go grab one of the... Invest um, in new plates. Dually Tech is the only way to go. Fuck Dooley that. Tech? Dually Tech is trash. I'm sorry. If, if you're an employee of Dually Tech or you like it, I'm sorry to freaking say this out loud, but Dually Tech is one of the most garbage hunk of shit fucking uh, presses I've ever seen. Every single press I've seen from them is like strong arm and no bueno. Two thumbs down from Can of Beard for the Dulatech stuff. Everything I've seen is garbage. You might have the one press by them that's okay, but most of their stuff is trash. And again, if you're like an employee or something, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my opinion. I'd, I'm sure there's better brands than this fucking thing out there. I use I use a, a dab press, a six-ton dab press. I've had this same press for three years almost now, and it fucking works like a hot damn. Anyway, I'm going to repress. I'll press like a proper full container. I'll do a big fucking stack. I'll use a fucking... Alien Gorilla Glue. AIC, Wedding Cake, Alice in oh. Chains, Coastal Mary. Okay, well, there are so many names, it was kind of hard to remember all of them. Yeah, there's a lot of, it's all abbreviations and numbers. I know what they are, though. There's if, it says, if it says uh, uh, there's WC, it's Wedding Cake. Blue Sherbert. Yeah, not Blue Sherbert, that's old stuff. No. No. Give me um, that one that you just said, The Bride, maybe. The Bride was a big one, I think. I think I remember trying that one, too. We haven't tried any of those yet. No, you tried Frank and someone else. And you told me that are from the same plant and from Gino. Okay, maybe I have that on that one. I don't know about that. I don't remember that one, but... Maybe? Well, I don't know. The Nug Mashers look pretty good, but they're too expensive. That's exactly my mentality with it. I went with this one because it was pretty cheaper, man. There might be, like I said, there might be some good Dooley Techs out there now. So do you shake it and then you smell it? Shake what? Why would you shake it? Because it makes it all... It's not a baby. No, <laughs> but you make the terpenes all come up and say hello. Kind of. Uh, You've done uh, that before where I smelt it and then you took it from me and you did something and then you like did that. So this is your grow here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. I was kind of focused on this part. <coughs> nice. Smooth. <coughs> Pretty good. It's a pretty good color, too, eh? It's a shame I fucking only got, like, two fucking dabs out of the thing, but... Hmm. <coughs> yeah, there's a lot of a lot of presses out there on the market. I've personally only ever used homemade ones. I've seen a few Dualitech ones. I've known a few people with those that have had them all fail. Um, I've seen... Some of those eco farm ones all fail. We got one buddy that's got an eco farm press that's still holding up really good. Um, you liking it? Yeah. Just like basking in the smell over here. It's not super potent, but. Hmm. No. You know what I mean? 
But it is like a nice smell nugget. to my nose. Like, mm. it's not trimmed very well. But that's because I don't I don't trim my butt very good. I, I never do. It's not really trimmed for looks. It's more trimmed for press and yeah. We we smoke process. it all. Yeah, we smoke it all. We process it, so I don't uh, I don't need to worry about. Getting ready to that try bubble hash for the first time. Scared as hell. Be scared. Rule number one, freeze your bud. Make sure you have more than enough ice on hand and make sure everything that you use is cold. Cool down everything you can. Stick your fucking you spoons in the freezer. In Stick cocoa. your weed in the freezer. Have I ever grown in cocoa? No. No, don't you put cocoa in the ground? Uh, okay, mm -hmm. a little bit. I've put... When I made a... a, a 120 gallons or something like that, 110 gallons of soil. I made a big batch of super soil a few years ago to divvy out to these. I had three 30 gallon pots and um, another 30 worth or 40 worth of gallons of pots. Anyway, I had to make all this 120 something um, uh, 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 uh. anyway. I put some cocoa in that mixture. I put one bag of cocoa, one bag of peat moss, one bag of fucking, two bags of fucking worm castings, bag of this, bag of that. So I have grown with it, but have I grown in cocoa before? No. So I'm going to weigh up some weed here because everybody freaks out when I don't weigh my weed. So we're going to weigh some weed here. Well, they don't freak out, but people want me to weigh what I'm, what I'm fucking growing on here. Now I'm going to weigh it to seven grams exactly, but then I'm gonna take out the stock. Really light ass weed, man. I don't know, I'm gonna get seven grams on this fucking scale. <laughs> man, I thought I grabbed about seven grams. It was only five grams. UK Genetics, hello! I was just talking about you the other day. I hope you're well. It has been a little while. Ow. Hit my knee. Six, five, seven grams. Seven grams on the nose. Now I'm going to take the stock out and then we're going to shove it all into my freaking pre press. What microphone do you use? Um, I have multiples. I know you do. I'm talking about for this one. For this, I'm going to see what I have on hand here. Let's find out what I got. Right here. Um, I've got 160, I've got 37s. I'm gonna go with a 90. I'm gonna go with a 90 micron, that's right in the middle. I got uh, 37 microns, that's just for hash and keef and stuff, that's way too small for weed. And I've got um, a 160, and I've only got like a couple bags left in the 160, but I got a bunch of the 90s. So we'll take one of the 90s. I forgot. How do the numbers work? The smaller the number, the tighter the the tighter the the. Okay, the my net. head always thinks the other way around, like it flips it. Yeah, it, it that's it, it doesn't. You would think it's the other way, but yeah, the. No, the, my the head smaller just the number, automatically. The smaller does. the number, the the tighter the net. Okay. Because it's like a net, right? It is what it is. It's it's, it's the the spacing of holes. It's the micron spacing of holes, and the the less number it is, is how many per. I, I want to say it's per square centimeter. I, I could be wrong, but I think it's per square centimeter of how many... No, because that's backwards then. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 because no. then it would be more numbers as this tighter got. You're right, so it doesn't... You're I right. know, that's why I'm like... Okay, no, I'm just confused now, too. <laughs> but it's not hard to confuse old Canabeard. Are you, oh, I was going to say, are you smoking on that, you didn't smoke that dab I gave you. Oh, shit, sorry. Well, I don't care, you smoke whatever you want, but <laughs> that was your, uh, right in front of you there, there's a, I know. a little blob of that other stuff. I was just thinking I wanted to clean my rig. You were just so thinking could... that you wanted to skate, you wanted to catch up with me quick while I was busy doing something so that there's no way I could win. <coughs> no, I'm a little too tipsy for that. <coughs> <coughs> I don't care. <coughs> I don't need to win. <coughs> I'm already winning. 
You told At the moment, I'm kind of getting a little more stone because it helps my foot. It probably is because I'm walking without my boot, and I should wear my boot. Like, I should have gradually... I kind of did gradually lift it off, though, to be fair. Because... You're till, still technically, for like the next couple of days, supposed to be on it, and then we'll take you in <laughs> for an x-ray and see how it's looking, but... And when I walk outside and go, go there to get a checkup, I'll wear that boot. <coughs> I want to have one too. They're all wanting you to have a drip off of the press. I wanted to. I only did that once in the beginning. A drip off the press? Oh, you mean while it's freaking? You mean one right off the? Are you guys talking about like, like smoking one right off the fresh dab right off the press as it's dripping? If that's what you're saying, then yeah, I've done that a lot. <laughs> <coughs> fresh off the press, like while it's still going. If it if it gets that much of a waterfall, if I can get in there, I'll do it. It depends, because like that last one, as soon as it wasn't moving and I saw a rip in the paper, I'm like, oh no. It so was nice growing material. In cocoa, would that mean you feed more because it like sucks it up so fast? I don't know. I can't remember what that stuff isn't that. Sort of. No. Cocoa is um coconut husk oh okay never mind I it had looks that wrong. it looks it looks like little oh, okay it so looks like dirt and hair mixed together white stuff peat Pete, uh okay. uh yeah um no 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 no, no. no. It's peat moss. perlite sorry it was a p, p word. word and you tripped me out perlite <laughs> a thousand microns equal one millimeter thank you sir Oh my god, I'm doing sewing and there's a few stitches that I was trying to get to like a millimeter. Hey Pete is different. Yes, there I know. Go. It was a P word. My yeah. head often mix up things of the same letter. Don't know why. Yeah, I, I, I'm dyslexic and, and my, like, I think of my brain as like a building with a whole bunch of hallways and doors. And all these doors lead to rooms with words in them and phrases and things that are in the same category. Like, so quite often I'm the guy panicking, opening all the wrong doors, running down the hallway. I'm in the right area, but I open the wrong doors sometimes. That's and a different I, thing I guess your brain say, does is you go, boo, 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 open yeah, a whole bunch I, of things. I, and I I'm up, like, I go mm. through a couple of words in my head before the right one falls out sometimes. I get stuck on certain words and shit. I don't know if that's necessarily part of I feel like your brain a, like is the what it's I doing read, is like almost I hitting the space bar, which is not like a repetition, not like quite a repetition, but more like a hesitation and like a searching. It's like it, yeah, I was just gonna say I read. I read very dyslexically. I I, I, I consume words very weirdly. I worked at a peat moss farm last summer and got a garbage bags. Nice. You mean you got garbage bags full? Because it you got a garbage bags lol. Is that why you stamp it with a thing with the weight? Yeah. So that's as far as I can compress it. That means wanna, that the whole. I wanna. I wanna Look at that! What? The dunk, 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 dunk. That was from the old one. That was when I was hitting it with a hammer. Oh. Now, that doesn't, I don't get these anymore. I thought that was from the weight. No, that was a long time ago. A few full bags. Okay. Cool! Anyway, now I put this thing on the floor. I've got a little four pound shake weight thing here. It's a damn bee! And I smuck it on the floor a bunch to compress it more. I thought Bunny knows I'm making. <laughs> she can hear that and she knows like, oh, he's making, he's doing dabs downstairs or he's making fucking rosin. Yep. Unless there is something that is equally loud, I can always hear that. There was only one time where you did that and I actually didn't hear that. And I'm like, I wonder what I was doing so that I didn't hear that. Well, I have to either smash it. I smashed it pretty heavy there because... That was a pretty big brick. I will be putting a... Oh, I, I did have a bag. I showed you that. But I will be putting a bag on that, too. Do you not do as big presses as you used to? Um, I've been just, like, doing small little quick presses without bags, yeah. I, I'm kind of low on bags, so I haven't been super frivolous with them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was the end, the wrinkly end of the roll. Oh, 
That could have been the problem with that other V page too. It could have had a wrinkle in it. Hmm. I can't wait to do my hair. I'm gonna really, really well, I'm gonna re-bleach that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to work out dying. Work out growing out my true color. My true color is also basically black brown. There we go. I got another... Uh, if I let my hair in the sun, would it turn brown or would it always be black brown? Mm, no, the sun would bleach you a bit. 123 feet of parchment paper. That's the stuff right there, baby. Was that this one too? Yeah, 123 feet. Now, it takes me a pretty long time to go through this. This lasts like I almost a year. I was smashing the puck too much and I was taking forever to heat transfer. Or heat transfer. Hmm. There we go, brand new paper. This might make a big difference anyway. Actually, you know what I gotta do too? I gotta stop and turn off that for a few minutes here. I gotta clean those fuck. Can you pass me a big stack of parchment or uh, 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 alcohol wipes? I gotta clean this thing out. I forgot. This thing's fuck. Yeah, sure. Um, I forgot this thing's dirty as fuck right now. And those little scissors right there. Cam Beard, you yes. press Wicked Wizard yet? Who's that? Wicked Wizard is the Z. Oh, it's a name of one, isn't it? The Z Skittles, yeah. Okay. No. Shit, if I hadn't compressed that, I would have I would have tried that because I've tried the wedding cake already. No, I haven't. Um, what, what strain is the original? We could probably do it next week. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try to fucking remember, but we can do probably do it next week. Usually, a press lasts a few days to about a week, depending if it's like very well liked. Or, or I'll just make some fucking BHO out of it really soon, because I forgot I got that fucking whole Z Kittles fucking bugger. And because all we one. have is cheese, and cheese is kind of light as it's a CBD fifty fifty. All right. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's like if you said it before, I couldn't hear you. I got a few gnats, nothing crazy. Oh. I think maybe, I don't know if I did now that I'm thinking about it. I think I was about to, and maybe I got interrupted mm -hmm. by a question. And then I'm like, can you please pass me those things? Like, oh. as if I'd asked you already. Yeah, I was maybe like, I, you sound like I you might asked not have. already. I might not have. And if I hadn't, I apologize. I didn't mean to be a rude ass. Hmm. See right there, folks, you know what that's called? Communication. And that is <coughs> drastically important for fucking... <coughs> yes. <laughs> for uh, uh, also, yes happiness for me. in life. What yes. for you? What'd you do? <coughs> I have four. <coughs> oh. That's good, though. Where am I at? Three? Two. Two? <coughs> Wait a it minute, still did tastes I? a little funny, but it still tastes good. <coughs> and the effect is good. <coughs> now I'm also going to do what I was saying. I'm going to double bag it. I'm going to put another piece of fucking parchment paper underneath this one. Just to ensure that it doesn't get overly compressed. Because like, this is the color of the shit that I'm cleaning off my plate right now. Because my plate was all fucking sticky. And it, I turned it off for a second to like let it cool down a bit, but it's going to be hot for like fucking 15 minutes or something, so I don't have time for that. I'm not waiting for that long, so I'm using scissors to allow me to... They're talking about um, things for gnats, which is like the stickies and the neem, yep. but be gone, drench, nuke them, then use um, BT, what is BT? Yes. Yes, B BT, BT is like chemical warfare for gnat flies. It's it's literally their. Um, it just what's sounds that, what's familiar, that poison? but not enough. What's the poison enough. for humans? There's a thing that's like super poison for humans. The cyanide. Oh. I think cyanide's the one. Well, whatever. There's a couple of fucking super poisons that are like that are like an opposite of carbon that like destroy carbon immediately. It says get BT toxin and use IPM, and it says devouring your roots kill them. Uh, I, I, IPM means it, 
Uh, it, isn't it insect pest? No, it's not insect pest management. Wait a second. Hmm. <laughs> insect pest management. <laughs> I'm like kind of confused at that for a second. <laughs> yeah, what am I thinking of? What am I, I mean, I'm tripping out. I'm thinking of something else and I'm saying the wrong thing here. What is it there? Hold on. Uh, uh, um. Inter integrated pest management or something like that. Maybe that's what it is. It's not insect, I'll tell you that much. God damn it, I was reading that in OVC a few population of larvae 10,000. I got a notification a couple months ago that you took away the beard symbol to support you and Bunny. How do I support Canna Beard now? I have been away, personal reasons, dealing with my inner psychic music. Um, psychic. Sure. Um, <laughs> thank you, sir. Um, yeah, is, is what happened is YouTube demonetized my entire channel. I've lost every penny. Well, I, I've got what I've got in the past, but I can no longer earn one penny from Cannabeard Grows as a YouTube channel anymore. They've taken away all my advertisements. They've taken away the ability to have memberships or any of that. It's completely gone. There's nothing I can do about it, really. Uh, YouTube just decided to come down on cannabis channels and some of them integrated pest management. Thank you. Fuck, I was saying the wrong damn thing. I knew it was. I was close. It's not I was insect of a pest different management. Thing. Okay. Anyway, um, I get too many Patreon. acronyms in my brain. Patreon in the disc or in the description, not Discord, but in the description below, it says like it'll say memberships in like brackets somewhere, and then. Um, uh, a link to the Patreon. The Patreon is the new way that you can support the channel and get your name in the credits. And um, there's lots of cool things. Go check that out, man. Um, why? Because YouTube is a double standard motherfucker. YouTube is becoming very, very hard to become an alternative channel on anymore. They used to encourage new and unique things. There's a lot of people searching cannabis on their fucking platform. A lot of people. And they sell advertisements to cannabis lighting companies and magic mushrooms and CBD. But, oh, Lord, even if you lived in Canada, a legal country, you got medical exemptions, 100% legal. You can't grow cannabis and show it off on YouTube without being restricted and this and that. Take all your money away. No, 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 you're dangerous. But you know what? They fully monetize gun channels. You can be Bruh. a gun review channel and be fully monetized. And here's the thing, here's the catch 22. This is what really pisses me off. YouTube says to me in, in, a, in a conversation with one of their moderators and their, their team, I said, why have I been, why has this happened? You know what I mean? And they said, bottom line is your content is not legal everywhere. It might be legal where you are, but YouTube is worldwide. A world audience is watching YouTube, not just Canadians and United States people in, in legal states. That being said, since most of the world it's illegal, we need to go by the majority. And they have gun channels. Here's the thing. Here, here's, here's the exact argument on the opposite side of there. They have gun channels. I can watch a video fully monetized about handguns. You know what? Handguns are illegal in Canada. You have to go through a massive, massive course to have a handgun. You can't, it's not a right. People don't just ha get handguns in Canada. You can't, guns are very rare. We got more hockey sticks than guns. Um, so I can watch a fully monetized, something that's technically a controlled substance in my fucking country, but other countries can't. It's like a double standard. You see what I'm saying? They said, you can't do this because it's not okay everywhere. But we can do this even though it's not okay everywhere. Because it's okay here. And they're guns. Fuck yeah. Guns. Everybody loves guns. Well, you know what? Everybody loves fucking weed too. And weed's not even fucking... Weed doesn't kill people. <laughs> guns kill people. And fucking idiots with guns kill people. Whatever, man. Idiots with weed can't kill people. It's... It's fucked up, man. It pisses me right the fuck off, you know? Anyway. 
Bottom line is, YouTube has fucked me over completely. This is why I've been migrating a lot more content onto Twitch. I've been twitching a lot more. And yes, even weed content. We do these fucking... Uh, I'm doing my Monday morning coffee and dabs on Twitch now. I do unboxings and just random getting highs that I used to do on Instagram and stuff. And some of them on here. That's all going to be happening on Twitch now. And... um. I'm still going to keep doing this stuff. I'm still going to do my content regardless of getting paid by YouTube or not. You know? But it does suck that they took the ability away for my members to be able to support what I was doing because they weren't supporting it. They, th that's the thing. They're like, let's make a community thing. If we're not giving you enough money, we'll make a community so that they can help support your channel. Because we're not going to do it. Lordy, we're definitely not going to give you advertisements. And then they're like, well, you know what? We're going to take that away from you, too. We don't want you to have anything. We you're, you're cannabis. Ooh, bad. Guns, good. Cannabis, bad. <laughs> Fuck off. Ugh. Especially as of late, I am not really yeah, Europe, a high opinion of guns. Europe is, Europe is absolutely a factor in this. 100%. It's just dumb, man. It's dumb. And there's not, the, the problem is, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, I've tried. I, I, I got... I got lawyers with um, my freaking uh, 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 my network. The network um, tried to get some fucking people on this, and they got the same answers I did, man. They got the same fucking. They got people that know the laws that went in there and fucking were like blah 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 blah, and they got the same fucking brick wall that I hit. Um, it sucks. Me. It is what it is, man. I don't want to sit here and bitch, but, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a drag, and I'm sorry. I I, I, I apologize as you're like, you just asked, asked a simple question, and I went off on a big tangent. Anyway. I'm going to have a dab. <laughs> it's, it's all good again. It's been a little frustrating, though, lately in media. Yeah, it, it's, been, it's been frustrating. It's been hard on the, cha it's been hard on the channel, too, because... My channel has grown a lot bigger, and because I've grown a lot bigger, I use more, I got more grows going on so I can have more shows, and more grows and more shows mean bigger power bill, and that power bill is fucking big, man. You guys have no idea how big my power bill is. Ah. I pay almost, almost as much power as I do rent every month. Think about that for a second. Seriously, just marinate on that thought for a moment. <laughs> it's fucking pretty close, man. It's scary. And now losing all my YouTube earnings kind of took a big bite in the pocketbook, which was paying my fucking, most of my power bill. Mm. This day's Twitch stream almost 250 views already. <coughs> <coughs> oh, you like that one? I like yeah, that. I don't get I don't get a lot, a lot, a lot of views on you on Twitch yet. <coughs> it's still growing. I, I have small groups of very dedicated. Thank you very much, uh, viewers that have been hanging out there with me and marathon. Not a sprint. <coughs> uh, what? Marathon, not a sprint. Yep. No, it's okay. It's growing. It is growing, and I've been getting um, I've You're been getting uh, what are they called? Rated by people. One of the things that's interesting on Twitch that they do that's different than YouTube is it's a, it's a live streaming platform. So when somebody else is finished streaming, they're done. They're going home, they're fucking they're they're having a freaking they're having dinner with their wife, they're going to sleep, whatever. Or with their husband, pardon me, it doesn't matter. Just, 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 you know what I'm saying? Um 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 when they're done their stream, and let's say they got a thousand people watching them, instead of sending all those people, like, home, Twitch has got this thing where they call it, it's called a raid system. And what they do is they basically give all of their viewers to another channel. Somebody else, they look through the channel and they look for somebody that they like. For example, recently I got raided by, like, almost 2,000 people at once. And um, what happened is I was playing I a game... That. And I was sitting there smoking. I was having some dabs, and we were just talking about the game for a little bit. And some guy, some some pretty big, pretty big, uh, 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 Rust streamer named Spoon Kid, 
<laughs> anyway, he's a huge Rust streamer, and uh, he had like 2,000 people watching him, and he went, holy fuck, this guy's smoking weed, this guy looks awesome, he's got a big beard and he's smoking a bunch of weed, check this dude out, bam! And he dumped all these people on me, and it... That was like the first big wave I've ever had on Twitch as a platform. I'm pretty new on there, so it was like, you know, like little things like, it doesn't mean much to this person just rating somebody that looked kind of interesting. Like, hey, this guy looks interesting, but that makes a big difference and really like boosts the morale of the streamer that got hit with that shit. And it's a cool thing to do. And I've done it a couple times. I, I, I should do it more often if I've got a few people going, but, um, Generally, you just sort of pass on your viewership, and it's a great way for viewers to find new people they may have never watched. Like a whole bunch of people, Spoon Kid people, hung out on my channel and are now hanging out here, even. I wish I could like that, um, but that's usually where I like my brain to just turn off. Yeah, it's weird. Like, well, that's the thing. That's, <laughs> that's my business. You don't need to do that. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. No, I thought about that, but then I'm like, mm, I want my brain to okay. shrink. Okay, it's still just a little sticky, but I've talked I've talked it nice and cool. So here, I'm gonna try to freaking clean it with my I hand this time. Dabs. Huh? I added her dabs. Are you gonna clean it again? Yeah, it's cool. It's it's hot, but it's at least touchable now. And that means I can get my Ooh, fucker that hot. Ooh, that hot. Ooh. Oh, that top plate was pretty hot though, but look! It still needed some cleaning. I might even need more. Can you pass me two more? I'm gonna give it one more wipe. Oh, perfect. I was gonna say, you could use one of these. Yeah. I get a better job with my fingers. Well, I just also, sort of... you might wanna like clean some of them because I don't know what's on them. I know they're not bad dabs. I just don't know. remember what they are. <laughs> Passing on lurkers is dope too. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I like it, man. It's an interesting platform. It's it's fun. It's you it's got user Here's the thing that I like about it the most, I think. It's got user and viewer interaction. The viewers can interact and make things happen in real time. They can make things pop up that I pay attention to and huh? There's a thing called I got one thing called a uh, hey listen. It's uh, Navi from Zelda, she pops up and goes, hey, listen! And I'm like, oh, it catches oh. me off guard every time. And it's for me to pay attention to chat because I'm not reading. Things like this. There's stuff that you can do that interact with uh, what's happening. And it's fucking awesome, man. Twitch is neat. It might it might have a fucking place for weed, too. It doesn't really. They only got this thing called just chatting. But um, whatever, man. I do some weed content on there once in a while. I've done some presses and shit. Kind of cool, I guess. Here, I'm going to. Can you press that button down there that says press? Oh. Bottom row. Press cam. Bottom row. Left. Left. Just play? Second one. Okay. There you go. <laughs> it's a lot of buttons. Oh, anyway. okay. I actually had to move over a little bit to see the P because I actually could only see East Cam. Oh, East Cam? Yeah, I <laughs> see East Cam. S Cam. And it didn't make sense at first. Hmm. Yep, that would uh, that would probably add the confusion. So this is the way I fold my general pouches for most things. I do hash a little different, like like bubble bubble hash or key for something like that. A little bit different than this, but this is pretty much my my go-to pouches for doing all all my presses. And I know for a fact that my plate is about this this wide, so I just kind of you know roughly estimate about where my plate, how big my plate is. It doesn't need to be exactly the size. You just don't want it to be too much bigger. That's for sure. You don't want it to be too much smaller either, or you can. You won't have enough room, but that's plenty enough room for the disc. That's totally fine. And let's see, how far does that go on the plate? Yeah, that's a little smaller. Here, I can go press it um, a little further down the list. There. Now I'm going to press this one in 
with an object to sort of make it a really strong fold so that it doesn't want to unfold. There we go, really true it up. Um, and now I cut it right along that seam on just those wing flat things that I made so that I can spread those out like that. You can unfold that paper completely like this. And then there's my, my opening thing. That's how I do that. And then these things here stay pressed so that even if juices go flying in either directions, they ain't getting out. Now we need one more little thing here. I wanted that extra little piece I was talking about to make sure that, uh, um, Good. Like that. There we go. Just an extra piece to sort of slide it all together. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Hold on. Is that going to fit? Yeah, that'll fit. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit or not, but yep. We're good. And then here, I'm going to make a fold in it so that... Um, I can hopefully fold it a little easier there at that, at that point. There we go. There's another magnet. There's one. Come on. Hey. There we go. Frick hard sometimes with these little papers. They don't want to fucking, they don't want to play nice sometimes. Sometimes they give you grief. Okay, now I gotta fold this bottom flap <clears throat> like this, just a little bit. And then, God, my hands are shaky this morning. <clears throat> and there we go. Here, I'll take that off. And I'll put that up top there for now. And there's my, there's my pouch. There we go. Now, I will whoop, turn down here. It'll focus. Give it a second. It'll do it. <clears throat> um, I need that hammer thing. Here we go. Aye. So there we go. There's our little puck. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to need this whole bag, that's for sure. I use the extras for things, so it's not like it's being wasted, but I wish uh, they just sealed it off at both ends so you could cut them in half and use them twice. That would have been nice, but oh well, it is what it is. Or if they would just make them a little shorter, it's pretty much everybody cuts them, so whatever. But, yeah, my hands are fucking shaky this morning. Holy crap. Yeah, here, I want to do this on camera. It's probably because I'm just, um, I'm also in a weird position too. I'm kind of hunched over here, but that's actually a little bit big still. I need to cut more of that off. I mean, I also do have like, you know, fucking nerve damage in my arms. So it's, but generally I'm not this bad. It's not on camera. Anyway, that's pretty much what I do, except the top was really fucking sloppy there. So I'm going to tighten the top first, and then pull the bottoms in to match. Hopefully that'll snug things up a bunch. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now, I, now I, hold on here, I got to do a couple things while I'm holding on to this thing with one finger here, pinching it. There we go, I got to tighten that up. We're going to start closing this down a bit. Now, take this one section off here for a second so I can line this up a little bit better without wrinkles. There we go. Now i got to stuff this in here. Oh, shit, without doing that, without losing my folds. There we go. I got it. That's the key is trying to get that thing in there without, <laughs> without losing your folds. Anyway, let's get that in there a little better. A little more in the center, right there. Bunny's playing with the butt with the sounds over there. <laughs> well, 
That's why we got you that, is so that you can sort of help more. with it, help with it, and have some control. But you see, how there's two layers, right? There's this under here. That'll help with that not happening for sure this time, in theory. I say in, for sure this time, in theory. I like that. That's a good way to scapegoat this a little bit. Now, um, it it having a bag and this double double system like this, I'm not too concerned about being too slow, other than you want to let things heat up. Now, as one of the tricks I tend to do is as I'm pressing on this, I, I see that slack happens on these a little bit in different spots. So I tend to adjust the paper as sort of as it gets tighter and tighter there. <clears throat> uh oh, uh oh, we got a problem here, folks. That's a problem. Hmm, it's a delicious problem. No, it's okay. Not yet. I'm gonna finish my finish my coffee before I start putting other liquids in there. Anyway, there we go. We got oh it, uh, it pressing in there pretty good. Now I'm giving it a bit of pressure. Now here I can get this a little bit closer, but I can only get this one so close. About there is about the best I can get you. I can turn you a little bit. Can you bit. turn it around? No, not right now. Because it was hard to get this camera here. I'm sorry. It's in a really weird position. Okay. She's just got one of the cats. <laughs> just I one have of the cats. one of the big cats. The big cat, yeah, Canna. He is big. He is getting pretty, pretty monstrous. So that's a pretty good amount of pressure on it right now. I wish the lighting was a bit better. Hold on. I think I can actually fix the lighting a little bit. Hold on. Like this. And I'll bring the light down. Oh, 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 there we go. That is fucking much, much better. Anyway, we got a lot of pressure. We're letting that heat sort of build in there. Um, I can see that. Where's the pointy ones? Like I got a six week old tabby female. We got a nine. Yeah. Yeah, nine, nine or eight or nine weeks. She's no nine I weeks. I don't know. It's not nine months. Yeah, it couldn't be nine months. No. It's gonna be nine weeks then. Yeah, because she's bigger. Yeah, we got a tiny kitten. Tiny, <laughs> tiny, tiny. A couple episodes ago, we showed her off pretty good a few times. Last episode of Sunday session and last, well, two two Friday night gardenings ago. Okay, I'm, oh shit! Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm derping out hard. I don't have any fucking heat. I turned it off because I was cleaning it. And I've, I'm like, why is nothing happening? <laughs> oh. oh my God. I'm fucking this process up left and right today. Oh my goodness. We rescued a male three years ago. Well, technically Canna's a rescue two years ago. Three, two, three, two. COVID. So yeah, three. Uh, almost three, I think, isn't it? Two and a half. Yeah. Big whoops there, man. Two and a half. We're going to be just fine. Okay. There we go. I got it in a good position now. Let that fight. <laughs> Hold on a second here. I'm bringing back over here. I'm coming over here for a dab break. Here, take this thing back for a second so I can help. A little bit of room there. There we go. Like now, is there any of, uh, oh, there is a little bit of this. Do you mind if I have that last dab of that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, you mind or mm-hmm, it's okay. Oh, you can have it. I wanted right. a mixture <laughs> of these two. Mm-hmm. Dab time, dab time, motherfucking dab time, dab time, dab time. Take a fucking dab break while the thing heats up. Yeah. I think I'm gonna just clean mine because I just didn't like the way that smelled and trying to have a dab after you clean it never works. Well, it just hasn't worked well for me anyway. I always fuck up the temperature. Mm. Good night, Stig. <coughs> I 
guess it's night time. Hmm. Have a good night. <coughs> okay, it's back up the temperature. Um, I'm actually not surprised that it went back up the temperature that quickly, but it, it did go back up quite quickly. Okay, so here, let me just... Let me get that. There we go. There's that pressure I was looking for. Now I will... Tighten up that top and tuck down that bottom. <coughs> There's a bit of a, a lip in that bottom there. I wish that wasn't there. And I also wish I could get this a little closer, but that's not bad. Not bad. Oh, you know what I can do is I can't make it closer because of the where, where the tripod is having to sit. But I can make the image bigger. Let's check this out. I go... Like that. It's kind of like a digital zoom, baby. There we go. <laughs> That'll do, right? Hey! <coughs> <coughs> so this is a <coughs> wedding cake from... Who is this one? Where's the bag? <coughs> Did I give you the bag back? Bride. The bride? What does it say under there? AIC. Um, WC. So Coastal Mary. WM, right? Or CM on it? CM or ILGM? ILGM. ILGM, okay. Is that there it comes, I see it. Hmm. Oh, there you are. Oh yeah. I forgot the heat. I knew I was pressing and I was seeing nothing. I'm like, there is no fucking way that, um, that it was not gonna produce. Canna. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? What's going on, Mr. Canna? He's just sitting there, like, chirping. Yeah, remember he used to... That's, <laughs> that's close to that spot that he used to pee under when he was a kitten that we had to clean up and gut all that carpet and stuff from. It's close to that area, so yeah. don't let him fuck around there too much. He might be smelling leftovers. We, we used to, like... We, we had to buy some, like, crazy cat piss neutralizer enzymes and shit. We tried a few... Yeah, I wasn't very impressed about that. <clears throat> okay, a little more squeeze now. Now that it's flowing good, give it a good little press there. Oh yeah, there we go, she's moving. Come on, come forward. If you don't come forward, I'm not gonna be able to do a dab. Here, I could actually tilt the press forward a little bit, which will give gravity a little bit more friend, hopefully. I don't know if she's gonna drip, man. It's pretty saucy, but I don't know if it's gonna actually like give me a big bloop like we need. Oh, maybe one of the sides. <gasps> Is it gonna be one of the sides? So we have this game where we go left, right, or middle. When I uh, uh, on the Discord, when I when I used to do this a lot on the Discord, it was always like the left, right. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Right, Jack. I yeah, I I. There goes the middle now. I would not have guessed that. I would have absolutely bet money on the middle. So I'm heating up here. I'm gonna have a dab right off the thing, like I said. And then uh, I'm gonna open it up here before it sits for too long. It's already been like compressed and this, this weed's fucking seen enough fucking damage already. Canna doesn't really meow. Canna chirps like a bird, and he does this thing called trilling, where he like sounds like a bird almost. Kind of interesting. Anyway, here we go. squeeze here. <coughs> 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 
<coughs> oh, I got the bitch lungs. Honey, you want to reach over there and give me a dab on the two dabs on the, the thing? Because I had one earlier. <coughs> Hey. Holy shit. It's alright, it's alright, but like, whoa. Uh. Uh. I like kind of waiting for oh, like the, okay. what comes off. Ooh! Uh. Do you still do that thing where you kind of like spin it around while it's still on the paper? <coughs> Depends on the product, but yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck, I'm dying. There we go. All those years, look at that. All those years of operation, the fucking board game, fucking finally paid off. Look at that. You see that shit? Seriously, operation finally pays off. <coughs> Somebody operate on my lungs. Fuck. Mm. <coughs> mm. <sighs> I just had like a... Like a lug or something stuck in there, man. I had to fucking... See, look at that. No ripping this time. Good job. Success. Success. Ooh, look at that. Looks like a manta ray. Well, let's open her up and find out what... Fuck. Smoke weed every day. my ass that hard. <coughs> Come on. I got a lung hanger. It won't let go. I'm sorry. as that was I apologize everybody it's, it's part of the honestly I hate to say it but it's kind of part of dab culture man if you're dabbing hard you're gonna fucking you're gonna sound like a monster like that once in a while yeah this one's the clean one isn't it? yeah it doesn't look so clean it looks a little dirty on there but that's just like torch oh, oh there was just a little bit on yeah that was just the other dab that's fine it was just clean uh oh fuck this stuff's runny you son of a bitch mm. It is a little warm in here too. I mean, I, I mean, I got the dab sweats maybe, but it's not exactly like cold in this room because I had the heater on for a while. So if you get the runny stuff that doesn't want to pick up, you got to do one of two things. See, like it just smears. Look at that. See what that happens? That's a fucking pain in the ass, isn't it? So when that happens, you got to do one of two things. Either fucking freeze your block or whatever you're using, your cold surface. Get your cold surface fucking colder. Or, um, 
grab something from your freezer and, and, and help or stick this whole thing in the freezer for a couple of seconds, a few minutes or something. Maybe about a few minutes. You don't want it to go shattery, but you know, cooling it down really helps a lot. Or you can kind of do this technique, what I'm doing right now. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. I looked over. That looks on camera fairly well. Now, as you can see, it, it sort of hits this stalemate where you just sort of put down what you picked up. So you peel off a thing. It's a slow pain in the ass process. Yeah, this is, this is wet. I, I don't know if this is fucking done being cured, but this is pretty wet ass pain in the ass. Also, it's really dark. It's dark and wet. Not ideal on either of fronts. Yeah, man, this is a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna sit here and do this. This is fucking, no, 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 no. Oh, look at this, just smearing. Fucking garbage. Mm. See, not, here's another thing you gotta understand too. Not everything is equal when it comes to making dabs. It's, it's, the reality is not everything picks up off the paper. Fucking the same. Um, I gotta put this aside, because I have to freeze this. This is the only way we're gonna get anything good off this, is to freeze it. But, I kinda feel like I need to continue to redeem myself here. Hey, Bunny? Oh, I don't know where she went. I'm gonna put that on her seat there for now. Um, <clears throat> I think I need to press something good again here. Um, because that's bullshit, man. <laughs> I'm not feeling that, you know? Let me know in chat. What do you think, guys? Should I fucking press another one and do one with some better material that I know that's going to work good? Because I am not impressed with this shit, man. I don't want to press any of that. I want to press more of this stuff right here, man. It was good. I want to press more bunnies. Sour Stomper right there. This is what I want to press. Uh, I think I should press another because I, I, I'm i just feeling real shitty about that. Make sure you hit that like button if you want me to press some more and subscribe and all that kind of bullshit. All that kind of YouTube stuff. Not bullshit. YouTube stuff. It's not bullshit. It's good shit. Whatever. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to run and grab a drink. I apologize. I do have something set up for this contingency. So give me one second here. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to, uh, you guys going to watch some cartoons for about 30 seconds, um, one minute, and I'll be right fucking back. And then um, I'm going to go put this in the freezer. Oh, God, I shouldn't lift that with my arm right now. Um, I'm going to bring that upstairs. Uh, I'm going to grab a drink. And I come back down. We'll, we'll press another load here. And uh, we'll make something worth looking at. I swear. So I'll be right back.
and there we go <clears throat> I'm back heck we're back including Canada he's running around here there he is Kenny you want to come say hi real quick Kenny come here come here buddy come on come here you little monkey he was like all under my feet and now as soon as you call him he's like I don't know now I'm gonna stand back over here now <laughs> you're such a cat Anyway, I'm going to do a bunch of this shit off camera here. Some of the setup and stuff like that. We'll just get on to the... You watched what I did last time. Here's a, here's a little dab if you want that's down here that I managed to get without too much okay. difficulty that you can dab upon if you so desire. Um, okay, I need that and that and that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna squish seven grams of your shit. Because okay. I know your stuff has this wicked, wicked color right now. And uh, like I've never grown that other stuff before, and there was some weird things that happened with my stuff. And I don't know. Yours, I know yours is a better color. Is our cat a male? Yes. He is not quite fat, but he's like about 10, 11 pounds. He's a big boy. But he's big. He's not fat, though. He's honestly not. I know every parent says, my kid's not fat. And I got the chunky ass kid. <laughs> um, it, it's not It's not like that. <clears throat> he's just a big boy. He's, he's pretty thick and heavy. We carry him around like a baby because we we just got used to it. But like he's a big chonker, man. He's a big boy. Uh, my mom. Not yet. Yeah, I'm not done yet, mom. If she calls back right away, it's important. That's the rule we got going on. Uh oh, that's seven five. Hold on, I gotta do something different. What about these two? Seven on the nose. No shit. How about that? Right on the money. Seven grammos. So exactly the same as what I just pressed last time, except um, different materials, right? <clears throat> Now, one of the things I do is I kind of, by hand, sort of break up the buds into small, I, I break off the bud part of, or groupings away from the stalk as much as I can and try to get some of those chunks of stalk out because those are the, those are the things that'll puncture your bags if you've ever got a bag puncture. If you're using bags and it blows out, it's either a stalk chunk that went through or you're using too much pressure, you overloaded it or something. There's a couple of other reasons, but stock can definitely be a contributing factor in that. Mm. Break it up there. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice looking bud. It's got nice colors and stuff on it. it. Smells really good. And wait till you see what it presses like. It's it's nice. I it's pressed. Hard time to scrap my yeah, it's different. It's not as sour or as stompy as you would expect. <laughs> but it is pretty. Let's make sure there's no cats behind me. I don't want to roll over no kitty cats. <clears throat> no um, bees sleeping and cannons just like oh. running around mowling. Yes. And he's probably going to be a laser kitty if I walk outside. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah. Ugh. Hey, that's my head. Don't we usually do dry 
ice extraction for live resin? Yes. <clears throat> I don't use dry ice. I, I can't get my hands on dry ice. I live in the mountains very easily. So I really need to be doing a bunch of live resin in order to justify using dry ice. Dry ice is amazing. It'll make the best, purest product I can get. But I can get a really good product by freezing the thing in my deep freeze, which gets it to about minus 30. But reality is minus 60 is the trigger point when you can sort of no longer pull fats and waxes, lipids, whatever you want to call it. Um, when you're when you're doing uh, uh, like BHO extraction, which is my preferred method, um, minus 60 is the, the trigger point when you stop collecting fats and waxes. They stay frozen with the the water molecules and you can actually you can blast freshly harvest like minutes old you can cut down and stuff a column jam pack it with fucking wet ass weed and then do a uh, um and then freeze that column as long as you have a proper jacketed uh, kind of warm uh now. setup you can freeze that whole bitch up and uh have cold ass coke here if you want I, Probably because that's just the very, very bottom of that cup, but oh, that's warm. But I get very, very clean processes done with um, a deep freeze, a good old home deep freeze. I got my columns only about this tall or something like that, so I fucking set it all up. I fucking close the valves off, I tighten it all up, and I just throw it in the deep freeze overnight. If I really want to do a proper cold extraction, I just it takes overnight. You freeze it overnight. <clears throat> but next morning, that shit's cold as a motherfucker. And uh, I didn't see what you said you prior to the whole scab time, so I was thinking of like scabies, and I'm like, ew! And it was, I fell down and skinned my knees, and I'm like, ew! That hurts. I, I fell down and did do something bad enough to my knees that it lasted in a really big scar that is still pretty present to this day, but it has shrunk. What are you talking about? Your your forehead thing? No, on my knee. I fell down a oh. hill because it was so steep, and I was deciding to run. I thought you were talking about when you when you dinged your dinged your noodle on the bunny cage there. No, that one's not as present, but it is like an area where like, hey, here's like a little wrinkle where pimples can live sometimes. Yeah, it's the it's honestly not bad considering how bad it was and you never got stitches. I'm I'm impressed that it didn't turn into a big scar. It's fairly minor. I got no big scar on my foot now. Yeah, you do. Heck, you one up me there. I've never had like full out knocked out surgery like that. That was weird. You just fall asleep and then wake up in a bed again. I don't quite remember them doing the. I remember part of the procedure of them like making sure you're out, and then I was like waking up and I'm like, huh? Oh, you're on a morphine trip. Oh, nice. <laughs> Is that why I feel so good? <laughs> Is I know. That why everything's like, so mm. nice right now. It was nice. That's the problem with the morphine drips, though. Is, uh, yeah, that's what people say, is it's uh, pretty fucking awesome, and that's not what you want to hear. Mm, well, it didn't feel much different than most things, but I didn't have that much of it, I think. Mm. I just knew it wasn't hurting, and that was a good thing. Yeah, that's the important thing. I'm, I'm personally a little... All spooked of the morphine kind of things. Oh, I was spooked of the surgery, and they're like, oh, and they're telling me all these things that can go wrong, and do 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 do. And I'm like, why would they tell you that? <laughs> that why are you like... telling me this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me, pardon me. We just want to make sure you understand what you're going through and all the things that can go wrong. And I'm like, I don't like that. That make me feel good. Yeah, that's that's not the right way to do that shit. I can't remember if that's exactly how it went, I, but like, eh. and I had to get a whole lot of like COVID tests right, due right. to the freaking surgeries. Yeah. Surgery. I'm gonna pull out the same the not, same thing here. 
I'll pull out another 90 micron, so I'm using the same bag. Should I freeze my shake before I make beach oil? What? Sure. Okay. Run it through ice. No. What? Don't run it through ice. <laughs> you could absolutely make a... Uh, um, yeah, you can absolutely. Uh, if you freeze your shit, you will get um, you will get a lighter quality, cleaner, clearer, more glass like consistency. Um, is what happens when you freeze it um, when you're freezing like already dried stuff or whatever. Um, is you're kind of locking in a lot of the fats and waxes a little bit. Um, the colder you get it, the harder it is for those things to come with the the, the fuel. Um, but, uh, um, you know, actually, fun fact, fun fact. That's what I do with these things. When I said I got, I, I use these things still, I cut them along the seam here and I cut them along the seam and now I've got two squares that I, I cut the corners and make them kind of like a stop sign. And I stick them in the bottom of my extractor when I'm putting when I'm building them like that. Oh, okay. So I've got I've got this screen at the very very bottom. So when I'm freezing it, that actually catches a lot of waxes, and there's like this buildup of like white waxy powder almost that builds up on that thing when I'm doing my extraction, and that's material that did not go. That's fats, fats and wax coatings from around the trichomes that didn't get put into the shatter, which thus makes cleaner shatter. If you ever get foggy shatter that you can't see through it, and it's all like foggy, that's because it's got a lot of fats and waxes in it, like like rosin does. Rosin has full of that shit. There's none of it's been freaking cleaned out, so you can't see through it at all. Rosin's always cloudy, no matter whatever, whether it's blonde or whatever, it's always not clear because it's loaded with all that. VHO is technically much cleaner. That's I just why like it better. Rosin gunks up your blaster. Yes, rosin gunks up your I was blaster. I'm gonna have oh, a dab, but I'm gonna clean that instead. That's a nice puck right there. It's nice oranges in the middle of it and stuff. Okay, I gotta get in there quick. I gotta get it in this thing and set up quickly here before it expands too much. As soon as you take it out of the compression, it starts to swell up again. Did I have a dab? We both have five. Um, I, I, I should be, I, I, I think you gave me my last dab that I've had. So I think I'm on par. Do you wanna hit that, that, oh, you can hit that dab button in a second. Burp. Excuse me. Yeah, let me get this. Yeah, you can switch it over if you want, honey. I'm trying to get it close enough that that it, it has just the littlest bit of pressure if I stick it in there so that it'll hold on to its position, that's all. making sure. <laughs> Uh-oh. You missed one. Ah. But too fast. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> okay, there we there go. We go. <laughs> so, I, I don't always pin the top a lot when I'm doing this right now. Um, because the top is the one thing that kind of stretches, whereas the bottom is pinned to the bottom, whereas the top sort of gets slack, and I need to keep readjusting it. So quite often I will just pin the bottom like this until I'm pretty close to the point where it's starting to squish out, and then I'll pin the top, just so that slack doesn't keep building at the top, and I need to keep adjusting it. Okay, that's a, um, a pretty moderate amount of 
resistance right there. I don't want to go too much more. Now I can pin that top up there pretty good. Um, now I can see already the bottom of this puck. I don't, I'm not going to be able to get you close enough to see too much, but I can see that on the bottom of that puck, there's a little bit of, oh, i got to hold my arm up, a bit of darkness swelling. As I do this, every pump I do, it'll get darker and darker and darker until it bursts through the walls of those microns, until it just can't be held in there. So I give it another little little dab. See, it's just got dark. I see it getting darker. You guys got to be able to see that. As long as you're not on a phone or something, you should be able to see it. Hopefully it's in reasonable focus. I can't tell. Looks okay from here. Anyway, here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's gushing out. It is a beautiful color. Way different than the last stuff. See, sometimes genetics actually matter when you're, when you're squishing rosin. All weed is not equal. You must remember that. All weed is good for different reasons, but it is not equal. Not everything will do um, what you want it to do. You know, like some things don't make very good BHO. Some things don't make very good rosin. Some things don't smoke very good, but have lots of like properties. So you make like edibles out of the shit or something, right? Like maybe it tastes like shit, but it's got oh. tons of CBN or something that you want. Oh, I ate Look chips at, after I had like the worst dry pasties ever. Why? Look at this stuff bulging out, man. Holy crap. It's not a tumor. Look at the color on this. Oh, why did I do that? My mouth is still so dry. But Man, I that is cool. I can't get the. I can't get it any closer than this. I'm like, no. Smuck dab right up against this thing here, but focus, please. Man, that is some bubbly, <laughs> bubbly stuff. Hey, eh? look at the color on it too. There we go. That's another good wad of pressure there. <clears throat> Oh, no, so Man, the color. Right. Same same temperature still. One one eighty. I'm set for one eighty five, but the plates are holding currently at one eighty six, which is the bottom plate, and the top plate is one eighty seven. I wanted to wait, but the I kind of wanted to. The pressure is created a little bit of heat in there. If you, if you just made BHO, it should be ready in 20 hours, not 20 minutes. Please tell me you're purging it, and it takes a lot longer than 20 minutes to purge. You should be purging for many, many, many hours under high, full pressure. And at a reasonable temperature, at least 130. Why? To get the butane out of it. That's how you get the butane out of it. Otherwise, you're going to have leftover. <clears throat> yes, even with a vacuum, 100%. I vacuum my stuff overnight. 12 hours, baby, at least. I mean, sometimes I've had certain things. Oh, we're out of focus. Come on, focus. Focus, focus. Um, I uh, <clears throat> sometimes can purge things within about six hours, but we're talking at least six hours, man. If you want to get your material clean, you want, I, f I flip it every couple hours, every two hours or so, I'll take the puck, the puck out, I'll flip it, <laughs> recombine it, melt it until it's a liquid, repurge it again, and do that like multiple times. That's one of the best ways I've found to get the butane right out of the core. Um, it takes a while, man, it really does. It also depends on how much material you're blasting. You can minimize, the reason that my time is so short like it is, is because I don't, um, I only blast a couple ounces at a time. I'm not making a huge... Oh, man. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's open her up here. We're usually making a pretty good oh, amount. Oh, weird. The puck did something bizarre. Oh, it actually mm -hmm. blew out on the bag. Look at that. We got some blowouts on the bag. A little bit of hemorrhaging. Not much. But some, for sure. Yeah, the bag ripped open. Look at that. A little bit right there. A little rip in the bags. Huh. That's pretty rare. That's actually very fucking rare. Oh, shit. I need to... Here, I gotta turn this off, and I gotta go upstairs and grab my, my plate. I left my plate upstairs in the freezer to, to get mm. cold. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, I remember. 30 seconds. 
I'm gonna want to nap. I'm not going to nap, but I'm going to nap after this, maybe. I'm going to snack because yeah. there's some Cheetos upstairs. I also want to go see the baby kitty. Guarding the door. Woo, it smells spicy in this room. Ooh, doggy. Okay, so hold on a second here. Before I do this, I want to try a quick experiment here. Gotta move the camera back just a smidge. Oh, like more that. Than so, this is the other stuff I was playing with here. I was having a real hard time. But this plate is right out of the freezer, nice and cold. Very cold. Got a little bit better success. We'll start on the outer side, the smaller stuff. Sometimes when it's been smeared around like that, that will permanently be difficult and I might need to tack that out. But the stuff I haven't fucked with picks up a lot easier now, okay? There we go, a nice cold plate. It makes a lot of difference. Now they sell cold plates and shit on Amazon. Um, you can get yourself a sheet of aluminum. I like these things, man. Good old fucking marble, like, I don't know what the fuck that is, like a cheese plate or something. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. Found it at a grad sale and I knew it would be perfect, and it is. of it real quick anyway I'll finish that off later I just wanted to show you that cold plate works like a hot damn anyway let's get this fucking thing off this I'd already turned the the temperature off I turned the, the, the heating elements off but let's get it off there anyway we don't want to cook it I probably should have gotten it off earlier but here we go Oh yeah, there we go. I can see a little piece of that blowout right there. There we go. It's got a little bit of something off of that over there. But the rest of that looks like fucking butter. Holy shit. I don't even want the cold plate for this. Get the cold plate out of here. For real. It's it's so buttery, it'll make it it'll make it shattery. It's like too cold. Anyway, I'm just gonna use the straight up. Yeah, this thing's a little cold, but. Fine. It's just so buttery. Wow, look at that. Hold on, I gotta get this up to the camera. You gotta see that. Can you see that big chunk of wax up there in the corner? Holy fuck, man. Man, this material looks good. There's unfortunately, I can see another little chunk right there. I'll get these two little pieces out. And right there. Oh no. Okay, fuck it. That one's going back into the mix. Too late for you, buddy. There we go. Anyway, this stuff is already, oh my God, look at that. Wow. Now that's what I'm saying. Strain matters, buddy. Strain matters. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I don't care, I'm just kidding. You don't have to stop. <laughs> Half of it's gone. Yeah. And it looks so yummy. <laughs> it just picks up mm. this. Wow. It's got that golden brown. Man, this is a nice material though. Wow. This is like that's why I'm like, hold on, I don't want to fucking redeem with that fucking brown ass shit. <laughs> Now again, I like the taste of that wedding cake. Don't get me wrong, it tastes really good. 
but some things are just superior genetics. They're bred for this shit. There we go. Holy fuck, man. There we go. Wowzer. So, um... So this is one of the things I do, is I put a piece of parchment up here, and I just sort of use the heat of the plate to kind of homogenize it and kind of liquefy it all a little bit. You don't want to hit it with flame or anything like that. The plate's already been turned off, so it's only like sort of warm, but you see how it kind of is muddying this all up now. That's actually a really good thing. Now I can actually get it all off the pick properly. There we go. Now, I unfortunately do see a couple of little specks in there, but I don't really care, man. I don't really care. I think it's gonna be delicious either way. So, that is a very crumbly, waxy material. I'm surprised I got this kind of a color and consistency at a, at a 180 Fahrenheit. That's actually pretty impressive, but. Look at that fucking goopy ass peanut butter. Wowzer. Let's smoke some of it. Mm. <clears throat> ah, much better. <laughs> much, much better. Temperature was 180 Fahrenheit. 185, sorry. How's that smell? Okay. Cooks, cooks right, squishers right, or growers right. Hey, do you want first dab? You grew it. Okay. You can have first dab. Yeah. Where's your, uh, did you take your, wait a minute, this is yours. Where's mine? Mine's over there. Oh, I grabbed her, so subconsciously I knew she was getting first dab. How about that? Oh. ladies first and all that jazz but I'm trying to be pretty equal opportunist <laughs> what about what about husbands first huh uh, you can go first I don't care if you want to go first you can go first how about that I don't have really a preference I usually let you go first anyway here you go honey but I used to have this like rule back when I made oil back in the day that it was, we called it like, uh, I want to say it Cook's Rights or something like that, where I'd always test it first. Holy shit. Is this a two hour session? Holy fuck. This has been a two hour session today. I'm like, my fan just turned off. Whoa, God. Shit. I, I didn't know you were in here. Wow. I have my. <laughs> I have a, a, a carbon filter up in the corner there that I set the timer for two hours and it just turned off and I'm like, what? Because I turned it on right when we started. Or well, yeah, right when we started, I guess. I was probably in the middle of the credits. The terpenes <laughs> grabbed you by the gooches or what? My nose hurts. Your nose hurts? That's how you know it's full of them terpenes. Turpines. <laughs> them turpentines. Bro, yesterday I was watching your first videos uh, where they show the failures. Uh, then you changed and started watching when you leave start. Wait a minute, what? And, and, and when you changed and started watching when the leaves start to go down. Are you still waiting for it to dry thoroughly? I'm partially confused by that. Hold on. Let me try to absorb. Let me have a dab here and absorb that one more time. Damn it. Okay. Um, where they show the failures. Then you changed and started. Uh, I changed. I, 
and started watching when the leaves start to go down and you're still waiting for it to dry thoroughly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely confused by part of that. <laughs> I'm from Argentina. I, I don't write well. That's okay. I got I got most of that. I'm just a little. What's that? You're gonna have a nap now? Yeah, I know. I'm kind of getting done. I want another dab. Of that that was kind of a bullshit dab. Did you take your dab points there? No. Have Have you taken any dabs that you've missed? Two. Two. Yeah. Well, actually, no. Wait a minute. Like that. Oh no. There we go. I was trying to bring her back down one. Two total, I think. Yeah, I think I let this thing dry out, or like, not dry out, like, cool down too much. It was kind of a low temperature dab. <clears throat> ah, yeah, but I got lots of shit today, to do today. It is, um, clean the bunny cage day. It is, I gotta do some watering of some gardens. I gotta double check on, um, the new setup I'm starting. I got a new setup happening any moment. <sighs> Cheers. Getting a little clogged, I think. Oh, that is good, though. Oh. <coughs> wow. Mmm. Yeah, that tastes pretty good. It's not, that's what I'm saying, is it's not so sour and it's not so stompy, but man, is it fucking good. I like it. Hello, Beard and Bunny. Nice sesh. Uh, I'll rewatch soon. Just got home. Digging in my base. <laughs> oh, shit. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Good luck with that. I hope I can entertain you. This is a long episode today, man. This is a two hour puppy. So please, everybody, don't forget to smash that like button if you did like this shit, man. Because, wow, that was quite the session today. Anyway, I should probably go and uh, start taking care of bunnies and call my mom back. Let's see what the heck she wanted. Maybe she wants to do dinner or something. Anyway, have a good one. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out with us today. I'm going to go do some chores and maybe cuddle and have a nap with Bunny for a bit. We'll see what happens, but i got to do some shit today. So uh, I will not be playing any Twitch tonight, but I will be playing probably tomorrow. I want to, but it's date night. So bye bye <laughs>